Javante, you guys have um, likely another good rushing attack that's going to come in here. Uh, they're rushing. They're running back last year went for, I think, 150 yards against you guys. How do you keep being successful in rushing defense? Uh, the main focus would be just getting hats to the ball. Uh, effort is going to be big, just getting all 11 guys to run to the ball and just pursue and uh, make the play when this, when, when this need to be made. Um, from a player perspective, along the lines of what I was asking Coach, um, you, know, you started out pretty having some pretty good success against Minnesota, got uh, three straight three and outs. Um, but did the time of possession eventually take its toll uh, as far as like you know conditioning or just being banged up throughout the game? Yeah, I mean, it, it eventually wore on us, I guess. Uh, uh, the running back started falling forward a lot more, and I think that was a big part of it. Like Coach said, they uh, started turning those two-yard gains into four yards, and uh, that was a big part of the big part of the success. Does the uh, feeling change for the defense uh, heading into a game against a team that's that's 0 and 3 um, versus you know the three power five set that you previously faced? No, not at all. I feel like uh, Coach Schaefer does a good job keeping our confidence level up. Uh, making sure we play at a consistent uh, level rate and just and just being who we are, and that's that's what we're gonna do. You think uh, playing three power fives to open open the season really kind of showed you guys on the defensive end what you you're capable of? Um, uh, yeah, 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 I did. As uh, far as confidence, uh, definitely. I feel like going into the, our conference uh, during the season, it should it should help us a lot to see what we've done uh, previously. Javante, I can remember after the first, the Vanderbilt game, DJ saying that you guys had had a lot of missed assignments out there throughout the first couple of weeks. Do you feel like you guys have kind of cleaned those up here lately? Yeah, a lot of it's been cleaned up. Uh, we still have, you know, some things that we can work on, a lot of things actually. But uh, from a good standpoint of it, like a lot of it has, you know, been looking a lot better. So, Coach called playing three power fives in a row a gauntlet. Is it different than playing the regular Conference USA schedules as far as the hits you guys take? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, you see a lot more bigger bodies, uh, different style of play. Um, we've been facing a lot of good uh, running teams, and and I feel like that that should that, that can only help us from where we go on. So, you feel different on Sunday than you would maybe in November? Uh, I mean, no, nah, not really. It's still, you know, still hitting, still football. So that's that. Brent brings a lot of leadership to this team. Is is it different not having him out there, and, and does it take time? to adjust to the, the emotion that he brings to the team? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Brent's a very, you know, the team respects Brent from a very high standpoint. Uh, just him being around, uh, helping guys out, you know. So you can definitely tell when he's not playing, when he's not around. Uh, but I know he's, he's still going to do what he can to help us uh, by being on the sideline. So we, we take that from him. So. Uh, last couple of years has really been the offense that's uh, that's kept uh, in uh, the Blue Raiders in, in games uh, so far this year. Uh, even if it's just for for a half, like it was from Minnesota, it's really been the defense that's that's kept you in uh, in game. Um, how does that change in position feel? We're just we're just doing what we what we can to help the team win. Bottom line, just. Um, did Bowling Green, just talk about that a little bit. Last year's game was kind of a monsoon. Um, just what are your recollections of the weather of that game? Yeah, I'm just really hoping that it doesn't rain again. Nothing like that. How bad was it? It was terrible. I mean, turf, uh, turf was coming up and there was water everywhere. It was really bad. Middle Tennessee, our town, our team.